Hey, Osa. Got their Alyssa hair. It's Alyssa. Okay. So the good news is you have a new knee. Oh, you have a new knee. So what are we going to do? I decided to do a video letter to you because we know from um, the same kind of surgeon that gave you a new knee, we know from Dr. Carla Stecco in Italy, who is an orthopedic surgeon, that there's so much more than just the joint that was replaced. And one of the things that I want you to consider is to try something gentle and on your own. So we help the stabilizers of the body <clears throat> feel better. And what I mean by the stabilizers, it's everything where the muscles uh, are attached into. It's that, that thin tissue and the membranes that make up the joint. So, so the joint itself, the bone was replaced, but we have all of the structures around the joint that have to learn, again, movement. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna help you Teach the body where you are using proprioception. And these are sensors in the tissue that can make a better decision when it has repetitive and low impact uh, strain. And what I mean by strain, uh, uh, blasting, load. So it's a low impact load. We've done this before, but let's do it again and you're gonna take your roller that you have and you're gonna follow me because it's really simple and we wanna do simple, okay? Simple. Okay, Osa, I'm gonna see if I can do this. You don't see my face, it's okay. You know what I look like. So um, let's see if we can do this together. Now the knee doesn't feel good. Um, you're, my mom had a knee replacement and she had a, continuous passive uh, motion machine. She said she loved it. So we're going to do something very similar to what that machine did for her. And we're going to have you do it. So your heel is on the other side of the roller. It doesn't come up on the roller. It always stays on that side of the roller. So do what you can here. It's not a contest. So come up comfortable. Now bring the toes up. Have the knee go down and scoop the toes away like they're digging into sand. And then bring the toe, knee up. There we go. Toes go away and then they come up and the knee comes up. And the toes go away. So we have knee up, toes up, knee down, toes forward. Grave Isandin, dig in the sand. Yeah, let's keep it really simple. Let's keep it easy. And let's see if you can find your own rhythm. Now you're gonna feel it up here and it's because the whole body has been in a challenging position for a long time without the benefit of being able to put load on your knee. This is gonna take time, but it's simple it's repetitive, it's low impact, and you're using gravity, which is what the proprioceptors love. They need to feel gravity. They need your help because they're in the fascia. They're in the brosque, the cartilage. They're in everything that is giving you stabilization. And with stabilization comes coordination and it comes balance and it helps you with posture. It is everything. And we're doing this, this is the fundamental, the ground or the fundamenten of, of motion. So you see how simple that is. And yes, you can probably feel it up here. If it's easier for you, lay down. But once this roller travels up to the midpoint of the calf, just take your other foot. Push it down, and now you're gonna start over. Knee up, toes up, knee down, toes forward. Yeah. Now we're doing this on one leg. 
if you want to continue with this position and where you're doing, that's great. If you want to lay down on your back and do that, that's great. Just keep in mind, this is slow. This is getting liquid in and out of tissues. That vesca is really important. So you keep going. I want to show you something. You keep going. This is Lennart Nielsen. And Lennart Nielsen gave us all sorts of uh, wonderful pictures of inside the body. But this is one of our senses vision. And you see how much fluid is in there. And we know if we have low pressure in the eye or we have high pressure in the eye, it changes vision. So what we want to do is to have logum so that the proper receptors are working for you so don't confat at better they beslut so they can make a better decision for you so let's go ahead and do it on the other side and feel free to lay down we're going to try this laying down okay so you can see what's going on here knee up this is on the other side toes up knee down toes forward and then you just scoop. So knee up, toes up, knee down, toes forward. Yeah. So again, what we've done here is we're helping the liquid, the vetska, in the knee joint itself. And we're changing, we're having help with all of these muscle structures. And again, keep in mind, Osa, it's been a long time since you've had balance and evenness on your hips. Just be patient. Partola mode. Just have patience with your body. This is not an easy thing. And as as simple as this looks, you might get tired. And that's okay. So if it's traveled up the calf, just take your other foot. Start over. You push your foot down, uh, push the roller down like we did. And that heel is always on the other side of the roller. Yep. Now, as we do this together, that roller is going to naturally come up the calf. It, uh, raise to oop. That's fine. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Knee up, toes up. Knee down, toes forward. Grave a dome, isandan. Really dig them into that warm sand. Get that foot and that foot led, and all of those ligaments in the foot really moving. Now when you're here, we didn't do this on the other side. It might be too hard for you right now. So just cross over and take time to go back and forth. This bottom leg just swings in and out. That simple. And if you want to, the bottom foot now, keep your legs steady and stable, and you go around and around and around. So that is my video letter to you. I wish you a wonderful recovery and take small little bits and pieces of this and see what you want to do and how you want to help your body. So take good care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.